Hello, guys. Welcome to a Let's Play of... Well, a blind Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, new game. Okay, I haven't played this game since I was little. I didn't even beat it then. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that some strange and mysterious things would be soon ha would soon be happening. Oh, it's Hagrid. <laughs> this makes him look way cool. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it. I don't know that word. Okay, but tumbled down from the darkness. Oh, it's little Harry with a note. The giant named Hagrid. Yes, I was right. Left a blanket wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter. The boy who lived. Vernon, Petunia, and Dudley. Wow, that's ugly. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents. The Dursleys until... Okay, Harry is so awesome looking that way. That fateful day, when they received a letter from the, inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. That's the Hogwarts train. Of course, you've already know that. Herod, Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase the most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from the Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that the world that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head. And Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Hello, you must be Harry Potter. I'm on with- Okay, yeah, this is too loud, I'm sorry. That's, like, way too loud. I'm Ron Weasley. I'm glad we're both in Gryffindor. Looks like we'll be joined by that know-it-all Hermione, too. Anyway, we'll need to go to the defense against the dark arts on the third floor. I'll see you there. Oh, and watch out for Peeves the Poltergeist. I've heard he's causing trouble again. Guess we finally get to move. I've never played this game. Wait, no, it, oh, I had Chamber of Secrets when I was little, didn't I? Crap. Well, if it isn't the famous Harry Potter, you want you want to keep wants the company you, you keep Gryffindors for mudbloods and riffraff. I'll certainly be more careful about the next about the friends I keep than your friends seem to be. Ready? You can save your game at floating books located throughout Hogwarts. Walk to the book and press the A button. I'm playing this on a VBA. The Visual Boy Advance, as you see at the top of the screen. Well, you might see it, I'm not sure. Can we go this way? Configuration Classroom. No. I think we still go up. Walking diagonal in, the, in Game Boy is weird. Oh, crash. Okay. Oh. Ooh, an Ickle Thirsty. What fun. You can do nothing but rock. Or walk. I said rock. Why did I say that? Stupid. Let's get the gar garage class. Is this way, Harry? I might want to save it. I'll save whenever I can. Yes. What? Yes. Oh, this is where I went. Professor Turbin. Oh, wait, no, that's not his name. 
No. Sorry. G good day. G good day, class, and w welcome to Defense Against the d Dark Arts. I am P Professor Quarrel. Okay, that's his name. I'll, I'll just call him Professor Turbin. And t today we are going to learn about the f f Pendo knockback j jinx. This is per particularly useful when cornered by n gnomes or w when getting past p puffer pods. To learn the spell, repeat my want movements. To learn for Pendo, you must follow the world's lawn movements. Press your control pad in the direction he waves to match his movements. Left, right, up, down, and up. Im impressive wand work on that assignment. You now have learned f for Pindo. Now let's try to perf p perform at a harder, a harder l level. It's hard speaking like that. I'm very pleased, Mr. P Potter. That's 25 p points for Gryffindor. I'm c curious if you can try these harder m motions. Up, down, left, right, left, right, right. Up, down, right, left, right, left, left. That was amazing, Mr. P P Potter. Some of the b best work I have ever seen. 25 more points for Gryffindor. N now I'd like you to go into the n next room, Potter, and collect the six g golden stars you'll f find in there. Oh, and watch, uh, w watch out for the gnomes. Use Flipendo to knock them b back. Are you r ready? You are starting your first class challenge, the Pendo challenge. To win the challenge, collect six gold stars and leave through the same door you use to enter. This challenge is when you begin to cast your first spell, Flipendo. To cast the spell, press the B button. Sweet. Okay, that actually sounds pretty darn cool. During this challenge, you'll encounter a switch for the first time. Switches activate nearby bridges doors, or platforms. To trigger a switch, cast Flipendo on it. Flipendo can also be used to move objects out of your way and tip over buckets that might have treasure or goodies in them. Cool. Oh, right. Need to cast Flipendo. This magic looks so trippy. One of six gold stars. Some rooms in the challenges are occupied by gnomes. To open the locked doors, to leave, oh, to open the locked doors to leave these rooms. In advance, you must knock out all the gnomes by casting a window on them. Die gnome! Die! Oh no! Ah, oh, first, did he bite me? Or these gnomes are creepy. These are nothing like those typical garden gnomes you see. To the second room. Pretty star. Flipendo blocks make ideal bridges. To slide them into place, cast Flipendo on them from their proper side. Once a block has been moved, it can't be moved again. Dynome. A birthday bot's every favorite bean. Ew, broccoli. Well, at least they heal. What's over here? Am I missing a ton of things, aren't I? Can't go from there, but I guess I needed to go back there.
sorry if you're here chewing. I'm um eating some. I'm not eating, but I'm um chewing um root beer float flavored gum from like extra dessert delight. It's pretty good. I mean, they're not the best. It's not the best one they have, but a birthday box every flavored bean. Ah, oh, peppermint. Didn't really need that. I hope he doesn't do that all the time. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my headset. It's kind of uncomfortable. My head had to start to itch. Ah, uh, you can search bookcases in the Hogwarts. Walk to a bookcase and press up on the control pad. It's probably where I not yet. Yeah. A birthday butter for ooh chewy lobster flavor. Lobster's good, Harry. Ah, uh, scary. These things are scary. Can I knock a bucket in it? Ah, uh, liver. Oh, he does do that every time, doesn't he? That's gonna get annoying. Where's that stupid gnome? Wow, this spells like takes too long. Way, way long to cast. This game is a really easy beginning. Like I said earlier, I think I it was it was either it wasn't this game now, it was um Chamber of Secrets that I had when I was little. You mastered the Fopindo challenge. Your reputation will get a push now. I don't like pushing things. Well, well done, P Potter. Sorry, I did a stuttering here. His voice is really hard. That's 20 house points for Gryffindor. You have p potions next with p Professor S Snape. You d don't want to be late, so r run along. Oh, and d don't go t t trying out for Pindo Jinx on your f fellow students. You n never know who m might be watching. I guess that's saying you can, but it's like illegal. You're Harry Potter. You're Harry Potter. This is a generic female voice. <laughs> I know all about. I know all about you. You're in my modern magical history book. I'm in a book. Oh my God! I never knew that. That makes eight books I'm in. All my books by heart, of course. I'm Hermione Granger, by the way. Am I really in that book of yours? Goodness, didn't you know? Anyway, you better get the potions class in the dungeon. I think Professor Snape's very strict. Oh, I can't do my voice with that voice. It makes me my voice crack. Meh. <laughs> Gonna save. Yay! Oh, wow. Already 70. Let's see if we can get a perfect playthrough. Bill. Oh, hello, Peeves. You didn't jump, Firsty. I'm getting used to you. Better get scarier then, hadn't I? Don't let me catch you walking in the halls late at night, or I'll call the prefects on you. I guess that's a mechanic in the game, too. I'm not sure. I didn't play. I don't. This is my blind playthrough. Does she go down again? Potions is this way, Harry. Hurry up. Holy crap, girl. You're fast. I guess that's where it is. Harry. Hurry, Harry. <laughs> I was about to say. Well, I guess it would make sense to be the way. Potions class is this way. They say Professor Snape is very st Nah. Don't believe them, Hermione. You're gonna be the only one in this class that does stuff. I guess this is potions. I'm not moving him. I had to itch my ear. Ah, uh, yes, Harry Potter. You are our new celebrity. 
Since you're the last one to class, Mr. Potter, go fetch us six glass vials from the basement. Hurry up now. Don't keep the class waiting. Oh, come on, another class challenge. Why is it always six? Like, one, two, three, four, five. I guess for the five students here and six and one teacher. Rapendo. 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 Ah, oh, an empty glass vial. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for now. I will, um, do another video after this one while this is rendering. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great time. Thank you.